Today I'm talking all about the side effects of vaccination. So let's jump into the first question and that was sent in by an owner whose dog had got his vaccination um, a day previously and he was shaking, he wasn't very well and wondering kind of is that normal, is that something that can be expected? Well let's start off with thinking what vaccines actually do. So they're essentially a way of tricking the body into thinking that it is suffering from an infection so that it can then eliminate a true infection at the very early stages when it's just starting before it can then start to affect the rest of the body. And a vaccine does this by the administration of either a dead virus um, or bacteria or a live version that has actually been modified so that it can't fully replica replicate or, in, or it can't cause the full-blown disease that uh, an unmodified bacteria or virus would do. So as a result, we'll often actually see mild side effects, which are just signs that the body is essentially fighting a mild infection. Um, you know, and I know personally that after I have a tetanus vaccine, my arm, it really aches for a couple of days and I feel pretty rough for the next 24, 48 hours. And, and that's pretty similar to what we can expect with our pets in some cases. So fever, lethargy, um, inappetence, so going off their food a little bit, weakness, stiffness, or even tenderness, and sometimes local swelling at the area of an injection um, and vaccination really is, is not all that uncommon. And that can absolutely manifest as shaking or trembling in some dogs. Now, these side effects, they are more common um, in younger animals, certainly in my experience. And most dogs actually don't get any kind of problem or they'll just be a little bit quiet. And if a dog does experience these side effects or a cat experiences these side effects, they typically resolve after about 24 to 48 hours. They just don't need any specific treatment, a bit of TLC at home, and they're soon right as rain. And remember, we've got to remember they're protected from potentially fatal disease. So we've got to get our priorities right from that, from that point of view. Now, that's not to say that side effects or serious side effects are completely non-existent. There are risks of very rare and but more serious side effects and that can be an anaphylactic reaction and that can result in breathing difficulties collapse and ultimately death um, we can get vomiting and diarrhea we can get generalized swelling so of the face of the neck um, and we can also get something called injection site sarcomas um, typically in cats now they are very rare but they are tumors that develop at the site of repeated injection so they're not necessarily vaccine related i think it was first thought that they were vaccine related but they're injection site sarcomas so it can be injections for other reasons um, they cause these really nasty aggressive tumors so those are the serious side effects but we don't want to overstress those because they are very uncommon now for more mild side effects um, you know, a vet might give some anti-inflammatory medication at the time of vaccine if you know that your, your pet has had one of these side effects in the past. Obviously, if they've had a more serious side effect, so if they've been very unwell, if they've had a suspect anaphylactic reaction, you know, if they're vomiting, diarrhea, if they've kind of collapsed, then we really need to be careful with giving follow-up vaccines. So there are different types of vaccination, but we also need to kind of weigh up the benefits against the risks to an individual. So if it's felt that there are going to be serious health risks as a result of vaccination, then we need to question, is it really essential in that individual? You've been watching the Dr. Alex Answers video podcast. Remember to subscribe and head over to DrAlexAnswers.com for any links, downloads, and get your question answered.